We did see all-time highs to start the week after an awful start to the week last week. Now, today's session quite choppy with a lot still to come. Alphabet, Microsoft, Starbucks and Apple set to report earnings tomorrow. We're going to hear from Facebook and Boeing on Wednesday and then Amazon on Thursday. Now as well, we've got a U.S. Federal Reserve announcement on Wednesday. Bay Street didn't see a big move to start the week. It's still more than 200 points from its all-time high. And then oil snapped a four-day winning streak amid concerns about rising COVID cases in the U.S., the U.K., and India. We had some pipeline drama playing out in Canada today. So after a five-month battle, Pembina Pipeline will pocket a cool $350 million dollars in a break fee after terminating its acquisition of Interpipeline. Interpipeline's board advised it would no longer recommend shareholders support the deal after rival Brookfield Infrastructure Partners offered more money for Calgary-based Interpipeline. Now, Interpipeline had resisted Brookfield's bid after signing a friendly all-stock deal to be bought by Pembina. In reaction, shares in Pembina Pipeline saw the biggest one-day bounce since March, while shares in Interpipeline went the other way. And a job posting at Amazon had investors buying cryptocurrency today, in particular Bitcoin. It got very close to $40,000 after slipping below $30,000 this time last week. Amazon.com now has a job posting for a digital currency blockchain product lead. This has many thinking that Amazon is ready to accept cryptocurrency as payment. Now, in fairness, Amazon is a big company and it backs a broad range of experiments, meaning initiatives cited in job postings don't always become new products. But the company did confirm its interest in cryptocurrency, which of course is popular with younger and tech savvy shoppers. In the 680 Business Center, I'm Chris McCusker.